Hello and welcome to Slice Print Roleplay. So today what we're going to be talking about is the method that I use for cleaning my beds. I'm not saying that this is the absolute best method out there. What I'm saying is that this is the absolute best method I have ever used. So I recommend you guys give it a shot. This works on magnetic beds, works on glass beds, it works on the, uh, the polycarbonate beds or um, the beds that usually come with your printer. I'd recommend replacing those pretty early on, Just that's just my opinion. but. Even still, this method works across any bed that I've tried it on. It's fairly straightforward and simple. You're going to need a couple of tools. You're going to need these paper towels. I like the pick your own size kind because I like being able to have choices and some control over my life. You're going to need a small spray bottle. It can be cheap. It can be a piece of junk as long as it sprays. It doesn't matter. Now you're going to put about half a bottle of water in and then a squirt or two of just ordinary dish soap. What I typically do, and I would recommend doing this only after you get a feel for it, is while my bed is heating up and a print is starting, that's when I'll clean my bed if I think it needs it. But what I would recommend for you guys until you get a feel for doing this, until you kind of get the idea down and you can do it pretty quickly, because you don't want to be on a time limit with this if you're just starting it out. So give yourself a, you know, a chance to get used to it. Start heating your bed, and then what you're going to do is you're going to shake your bottle up so you can get some bubbles in there. You're going to spray some on. You don't need a ton. Just make sure that there's a few drops on a couple different spots in the bed. Like I said, you're going to tear that paper towel in half. Use, fold it over. And then you're just going to make small circles. Making sure that you're kind of buffing this into the bed. And rubbing away any impurities like dirt, cat hair, shame oil from your fingers, the normal stuff that ends up on your bed. Now we're going to take another dry paper towel and buff it out, just to make sure that we get all of that soap off of there and it all evaporates nicely. And what you end up with is a slick, clean bed that gives you perfect bed adhesion. Now, quick note about this. It doesn't matter how clean your bed is, doesn't matter what method you're using, if you don't have good bed level, it's not going to work for you. So develop the skills to level your bed along with learning how to clean it like this, and you will have no issues. I've been printing on this for years at this point, and I've had no issues with this method. All right, so just to prove to you guys that I'm not a liar, I'm fairly honest, I'm gonna also clean this magnetic bed. And as you watched the last one, it only takes a few seconds, so what you're gonna do is just spray enough on and kinda of coat the bed. You're gonna take your first paper towel, rub it into the bed pretty well, coat the whole bed. Then you're going to take your second dry paper towel and you're just going to buff over it again to make sure it's perfectly dry. Now the reason that you want to do this is because things like dust, dander, cat hair, animal hair, grease from your fingers, because yes, you do have grease on your fingers. doesn't matter how clean your hands are. You just naturally have grease because we're all greasy, terrible human beings. And when you touch your bed, you leave behind little oils on there. And depending on the type of bed you're using, those oils can actually stop the PLA from sticking or whatever you're using from sticking onto your bed. So you definitely want to make sure that if you had to touch your bed a lot to get a, a print off, that's the best time to clean it. Just starting out until you get a feel for it might be a good idea to clean your bed before each print, but that's really up to you guys. So that's it. That's the method I use. Seriously, it's just spray some on as the bed's heating up, wipe it down with one paper towel, make sure it's coating the entire bed. Then grab a dry paper towel, buff it all off, and you're good to go. All right, guys, hopefully that helps you out. Definitely put down in the comments below if this was helpful for you, if it's a different method, or if you've been using this method. Let me know how it worked for you, and please consider jumping onto the Facebook page. Feel free to post there what kind of results you're having with this method, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't, for whatever reason, I guess go away. But if you really feel you need to, you can give me a down vote. It's up to you. Alright guys, until next time.